hitting combinations, don't hesitate with that right hand. Okay. Mark. Work your jab. Every time he's close enough, he's got nothing left. Yeah, leave it here. Okay. okay. Teddy, dig deep underneath, that right and then that right hand, don't hold it, Teddy. Hang it real loose and throw it behind the jab, but drag the back foot one. That's what you see you're reaching for. Yeah, I see. Oh, great two-handed attack by Teddy Mann. You see what, it, what a good corner work does? When that round started, he walked all the way over and caught Robbie Epps right in his corner. Teddy didn't even get to the middle of the, uh, of the ring before he'd thrown a punch. Now, you see that kind of corner work. First, it worked on his eye. They put the adrenaline. They put that uh, concrete, which is now coming out of his eye. This concrete-like paste is now coming out. They're doing good on the, on the uh, eye. He's not worried. And more than that, he thinks he's ahead, and he needs these next two rounds. Well, he's ahead on the fight, Dr. Scorecard. You gave him round eight, so it's a 5-3 advantage on the NBC card. Teddy Mann in the green over Robbie Epps and the blue. Certainly the tone of this fight, the weight of the effort on the part of Teddy Mann has given him this fight thus far. And Mann able to land again on Epps. Again after the measuring maneuver, throws the right hand. Slow on defense. He can see that right hand. He should throw something against it. And to the body and to the head. All right, hold it, hold it. Well, everybody in America is waiting to fight Bobby Chez, it looks like. Teddy Mann just said he wants to fight Bobby Chez after this fight. He's certainly earning the right if it keeps on going like this. And wants a rematch off a very bloody bout between Chez and Mann that was telecast uh, here on NBC. Uh, Teddy's earning, Teddy Mann is earning the right to fight good middleweights with this fight over Robbie Epps, win, lose, and draw. He and James Green would be some kind of match. Looking good from outside with combination, something he should have been doing from the beginning. Back into the ropes, which is not his place. And the combination attempted by Mann as we end this ninth round, so we will go to a tenth and final round. I'll take you out, man. Back out, man. On the right, Teddy Mann on the left, Robbie Epps, as we check out some of the ninth round action and a very solid round for Mann. As you can see, the telegraphing of that right hand is one of those things that should be stopped by Robbie Epps. He's much more talented as a, as a boxer. However, the less talented but guttier fighter is winning the fight. Come on, right? Now watch, watch how he telegraphs this right. Now you know everybody knows he's going to throw it right there. And yet, Robbie's so intent on covering up and going back into the ropes, he gets hit by it. That's why he's losing this fight, in my opinion. So here's the tenth and final round. Middleweight's Teddy Mann and Robbie Epps. Coming up later on, heavyweights Michael Dynamite Dokes undefeated. Record of 23 and all against Tommy Franco Thomas. Fight Doctor Scorecard, Teddy Mann winning round nine. And it's now 6-3. It's not to the point where either he can stop it on a TK on a cut or knock him out, but that's the only way I think Robbie Epps can win this fight. Earlier in the bout, Mann with difficulties with a severe cut over his right eye, which has been handled very well. Only one round was it really a factor when it opened and the blood poured into the eye of Mann, but he's oh, by the round. Connecting on it. And again, as Epps looks to tie him up. Incredible what momentum will do for a fighter. Matt is looking for the knockout here of this final round. They're banging heads also. Zach has done a good job of letting him fight inside. Clayton talking to him, but won't touch him. reaching and lunging with the punches and getting hit counters in return. By this time, Clayton steps in. Incidentally, later on, we'll hear from world-renowned referee Arthur
Trevor Marcani, and we will watch as he conducts a clinic on boxing rules. Oh, right hand, thrown by man. Again, as we demonstrate in the slow-mo, exactly the same punch. Two lefts, load it up with a right, let it fly. Oh, the Ides of March. we got upsets on the mind here. by the WBC, Teddy Mann is on right. And last week, we saw the opponent that they had picked out for him, Scipion, take a shellacking from Green, and now the Scipion Epps card would be a battle of the losers. Hey, Decision in a moment. But I knew I could punch. I should have. Well, the score. I hate myself. That's so why I got to win. Together. And at the center of the ring, announcer Ed Duran getting set to provide the decision as Robbie Epps went up against Teddy Mann. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen. From the Playboy Hotel and Casino here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, the scoring as follows. Judge Eva Shane scores it. Seven rounds, man, three rounds, Epps. <laughs> Judge Tommy Kazmarek, he has it. Five rounds, man, two rounds, Epps, three rounds, Eva. Referee Zach Clayton scoring it. Eight rounds, man. One round, Epps. One round, even. And the winner by unanimous decision, Ted the Irish Man. Man. So, another upset here on NBC Sports Ringside. Ladies that was the tone last weekend. Epps. Teddy Mann by unanimous decision over Robbie Epps. Purdy scorecard had it 7-3. And uh, the judges and the referee, Zach Clayton, in accordance. Let's go to the ring. Here's Purdy. All right, I, I had it 7-3, and I thought it was a gutty performance. And here's the man who wants to say something to you. Teddy, I got you once. You're coming back. Going for two. OK, thanks, Bobby. Right. I'm looking forward to it. All right, you're going to celebrate St. Patty's Day. Yeah, I, we couldn't do anything on St. Patty's Day, but this week, I'm going to celebrate. They, were you worried with that cut over the eye? Yeah, I was. I thought for a while they were going to stop it, but I had a good man in the corner, Eddie Allingham and Pat Versace and Carmen, and they stopped the bleeding enough for me to, you know, take it to them. And my heart was big enough today, and I won it. And I wanted it. All right, well, congratulations on a really gutty performance and okay. a hard win. Thank you. Thank congratulations you. to the corner for great work. And now back to Marv. All right, Teddy Mann with a message for Bobby Chez as Teddy Mann with a unanimous decision in a surprise has taken Robbie Epps, who was ranked number nine by Ring Magazine, number seven by the WBC. Later on, it's Michael Dokes and Franco Thomas, but right now for a preview of a very special event coming up on NBC Sports tomorrow, let's go to Lake Tahoe High in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, and let's go to Bruce Jenner. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Coming up a bit later on, we have a 10-round heavyweight bout featuring Michael Dynamite Dokes and Franco Thomas. 
And as we mentioned earlier, Dokes with that unbeaten record, we have seen a host of upsets here, Ferdy, last week on both Saturday and Sunday, and uh, just a moment ago with Teddy Mann surprising Robbie Epps. Who knows? Well, <laughs> if I were Michael Dokes, I'd be warming up right now. I'd come in here nice and steaming hot and got try to get this thing over in a hurry because, let me tell you, Franco Thomas is tough, and he'll hang in there all ten, and it's going to be a contest for Mr. Dokes. You questioned the jabbing philosophy earlier of Teddy Mann. What's your reaction now? Teddy carried out what he said he was going to do, but more than jabbing him, he went right to the body and blocked him when the jabs didn't work, and he just plain out gutted him. I mean, it was just a gutty performance. All right, tomorrow on both NBC Sports Ringside and on NBC Sports World, we have a host of excellent boxing action that